Hmm. Again, we have a classic telescope here. And I just want to open and check to see what is inside. The layer of the cling film, then a pin bag, then some padding, another bag. Let's open and see. Okay, it looks like interesting. Hmm. It's a wooden box. How old is this? Hmm. I hope it doesn't have any wood worm. Do we see any effect of wood worm? No. So far, no. Oh, it's a tiny telescope. Uh, it's one of those uh, small telescopes that you can see. Oh, it's the sky bolt. That's why. SYW Yamamoto, Japanese. Some of the best telescopes you can get. Hmm. Funny little world, funny little telescope. Hmm. Let's see what is inside it. Does it have any orifice? One. 12 millimeter eyepiece which should go here. There is the other eyepiece. There is no other eyepiece. Um, seems now. And anyway, that eyepiece should go here in the focus. It's a 50 millimeter F600, so that's around 12. <coughs> okay, the Lens needs cleaning. Mount it all right. Okay. Let's we'll clean the lens and then we'll pack it up for setting up during the daylight test. It's also in it, as you can see. Okay, as you can see, I've removed the lens. It's a 50mm lens, it looks like a doublet, and yeah, anyway, I have to clean it. It looks full of dirt and probably a little bit fungus, even a lot of fungus actually. So let's see what we can do with this lens. Okay, I can, as you can see, I have cleaned the lens and I have blackened the edges of the lens also so to reduce the reflection, internal ref reflection two lenses is a doublet they're in contact together I prefer that they had uh, some distance between each other but anyway that's the way it is and uh, for removing I have to remove this uh, o-ring then the lens comes out you have to be careful if you're doing similar thing uh, which orientation the lenses were in contact together so this lens is now ready, I'll put it back. The focuser and the focuser knob are really smooth, they're made of metal, they're easily uh, move the tube. And uh, I just want to clean the um, star diagonal also, then I will pack it up. Now I have cleaned this star diagonal and as you can see and I'm going to put the last bit, bit of it back. I'm putting this star diagonal back and the high piece can go inside here now. Keep it clean also. Okay, I have a 14 millimeter um, Japanese star 0.956 eyepiece from my own. I would just put it in this star diagonal and because it's a very wide angle, relatively low power. And I will try to see how what I can see. I will report, report it to you. Probably if I can. This is the... Um, 40 millimeter eyepiece that I went and used this on this uh, Yamamoto Skybolt 50 millimeter F 
60, 600 millimeter made in Japan, SYW. And it is amazing. I have many telescopes. This is the fine, one of the finest. For the first time, I was able to see the airy disk around the stars. I look at the, I'm holding it in my hand without the tripod. And I looked at the Orion Nebula. It's amazing, beautiful. The whole field of view was covered with the stars and nebulosity. I think this telescope is one of my gems. It's something that never goes, hopefully. Uh, not for sale, <laughs> definitely. Uh, it's one of the best telescopes I have. Oh, I cannot believe that I got such a thing. It's beautiful. It was so clear. Uh, it's on 12 millimeter. I'm not sure that this is... Okay, we will show you a good view of the Orion Nebula and Trapezium. With this I could not, of course, uh, mm, yeah, split the Trapezium because this is very wide angle. The whole sword of the Orion was taken in it. Three stars of the belt easily could fit in this. So, no problem with that. Uh, I have to ask the... Oh, this one. But what's the missing one here? It must have been a... Uh, usually they have 12 and 20 or 25. If there is no 12, there must be 6 eyepieces. And one eyepiece probably was here. I have to see how it was originally. There is no booklet or anything with it. I don't see anything. So... Oh, there is another eyepiece. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, that's a six millimeter one. So it goes here. Ah, no, I'm relieved. Yeah. I have the two eyepieces that should fit there. I have to clean this box. I will clean it then. And it's one of the best telescopes I have. <laughs> it is fifty millimeter. <laughs> of course, this eyepiece was really good. And I have a eyepiece uh, uh, adapter, so we can I uh, can use the one point quarter inch eyepieces in this. That will transform this to a beautiful gem. Hopefully, never saw iris this before. This is the first time I've seen it. I've seen it. Best telescope ever. <laughs>